Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hayden and today I'm here with my review of my new Asus Zephyrus gaming laptop. For the longest time, I've always wanted a gaming laptop with at least somewhat modern specs. For a while, I did have that big clunky Dell Inspiron 15 inch gaming laptop, but it did have a GTX 1050 and an i5. Nowadays, that is not good enough. So back in the summertime, Best Buy had a decent sale going on. So I decided why not? I want a modern gaming laptop for on the go use for gaming, schoolwork. I'm not only in school anymore, but for gaming. And I decided why not pull the plug. My cousin has an Asus Zephyrus. Um, his specs are a little bit better and he actually paid more because his wasn't on sale. Mine was on sale, so here we are. First of all, let's go over the specs. This is a 15 inch, 144 hertz laptop. I love that it is 144 hertz. I don't really think you see that much on a laptop, but 144 hertz is a huge difference from a 60 hertz display. I love it. Um, Ryzen 9 6900HS clocked at 4.20 gigahertz, eight cores, 16 thread processor. Um, RTX 3060. It came with 500 gigabytes of SSD storage. That is by far not enough for games these days. Call of Duty alone is over 100 gigabytes on top of the additional 70 gigabyte update that they release almost every week. So one game alone is going to clog up my entire SSD. So I bought a two terabyte M.2 SSD, put it inside, and that was a little over $100, but well worth it because I literally won't be able to game on this if I didn't have an additional two terabyte SSD to go inside. Um, the 144 hertz display, yep. Um, otherwise, that is it for the specs, but the ports, this thing has two USB-C ports, two normal USB ports, full-size ethernet, headphone jack, the charger, and the RGB keyboard. That's not a port, but RGB is important. Um, USB-C, not a big fan because not everything has switched like keyboards. If you buy a mouse online on Amazon, you buy a keyboard these days, it's still USB 3.0, 2.0, nothing has switched over to USB-C. So I would rather this thing just have normal USB 3.0 ports on it instead of the C ports. It only has two. So I literally had to buy little adapters that are USB-C to USB 3.0 converters. Kind of sucks, but this thing only has two real USB 3.0 ports. So, I mean, it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, it does have Windows 11 Home on it. Not a big Windows 11 fan. Um, I wasn't originally, but I use it for work and it just, it looks a little bit better than Windows 10. That's all it is. So I've actually gotten kind of used to it and it's not that bad. Um, yep, Windows 11. I really love it so far. The only thing is using the actual keyboard when you're gaming. You can, because it's not a desktop, you can feel the heat underneath your hands. When you are on WASD, you can feel the heat. Not a big fan of that. So I literally bought the Razer Huntsman Mini small keyboard just to use for games. So I don't actually have to touch the keyboard that is on the actual laptop because I don't want to feel the heat coming through the keys onto my hands. In the winter, that would be ideal, but not a, not a big fan of that. Plus, I want to keep the keyboard as new and as good as I possibly can if I were to sell this laptop in the future. Um, same thing, I do have a bunch of gaming mice laying around, so I'm not going to use a trackpad to game as nearly impossible nowadays. So I do have an external keyboard and mouse for those reasons. Um, another con is the battery, but it's a laptop. You're gaming on a laptop. It's not a desktop. The battery is going to go down so fast that you're going to have to put the charger in almost all the time. And I charge it to full. I unplug it. I use it. Wait till it gets down to like 20, 30 percent. Plug it back in, and it's just fine. Um, another thing, when you buy a 
it's been a long time for me since I bought like a gaming laptop or a pre-built desktop from like Best Buy or a, another vendor that sells, you know, pre-built and laptops. They always come with some kind of bloatware from the company. It did come with Norton Security. Good thing it was a code and not already installed because I threw that away as fast as I could because that is just going to be bloatware and popping up with ads and notifications constantly. Um, it did come with one month of trial for Game Pass Ultimate. I've already tried Game Pass. I don't need it. I don't use it. Threw that away also. Um, another thing, it has something called Armory Crate on it. It's not that bad. I can see it's useful. The only thing it does is tell you is whether the fans are on silent mode, perf performance mode, or turbo. And that's where you can hear the fans, either depending on the mode that you've selected. That's not that bad, and that's actually kind of useful as opposed to Norton, because the Windows Security Defender is all you need, and it actually does a pretty good job. But Overall, this laptop has been really good. I love the wallpaper that it comes with. Honestly, it's not that bad. Besides lack of ports, I literally did have to buy... It has an HDMI port, but I did have to buy a little hub to connect to USB-C so I can have two USB-C ports, two additional USB ports, and one additional HDMI port so I could connect a second monitor. Because come winter time, when I'm working at home, this is going to have to be my work from home setup, and I need at least a dual monitor setup that is not including the laptop. So I technically have a triple right now if you include the laptop. and But it's a laptop. It's not a desktop. You're not going to have a ton of ports like a real graphics card would. And that's understandable, to be honest. But overall, this laptop has been great. Not the top spec, and that's just fine because... It plays exactly what I want to, especially at 1080p. Um, now, I'm financing this through Best Buy. I did not pay for it in full. On sale, it was $999. I am paying $85 a month for one year. That is not bad at all, because if you keep up with the payments on this thing, it's going to go by really fast, and one year is going to go by really fast. Um, if this thing wasn't on sale, it would have been $1,500. Now that I can't really justify, but the $1,000 price tag, I can justify for the specs in this thing. But yeah guys, those are probably my overall thoughts about this laptop. It has been great. I would definitely, definitely recommend this laptop, especially because it's very thin. Um, many laptops out there like Dell's and HP's tend to be thick. Thick with three C's, like real thick. This thing is as thin as can be and it's a gaming laptop. To me, that is awesome. And it's, really the, it's really the simple things in life that I enjoy. But overall, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you, on your opinions on this laptop. I want to know what you guys think about this and if this was a good purchase or not. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you for watching.